What's up guys, how is gaming here and welcome back to another Fortnite creative tutorial video. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the new Switch device in Fortnite creative so make sure to stick around. Alright, so let's get straight into it guys. This is the new Switch device. There's three different versions and it's really cool and how to use this. You can actually go into the settings here and scroll down and you can actually change the device model to these three different devices just in case you have a different theme for your maps. This one would fit really cool medieval maps. This one would fit like more modern maps and also this one would fit more cyberpunk modern style maps as well. So this is really cool. I like how they've given us three different models of this. Now there's two different ways you can use this device. It can be really, really basic. It can literally just be an on and off switch for something in your game. Maybe you want them to turn a light switch on. You can do it by using this device. But there's also the really advanced way of how to use this device. I believe this is probably one of the most advanced um, uh, devices we have had in a while just because of how it can be used like while you're offline and things like that it's pretty crazy but yeah um let's get straight into the settings so you want to start off just at the top here you've got initial state on and off so that's whether the light's actually going to be on when the game starts or when it's going to or if it's going to be off um you've got all the visible in game stuff which is the usual stuff device model sound uh, all this you've seen before, interaction type, just like a normal switch. Times can change, that means how many times you can switch it on. Maybe you only want them to switch it on once within the game. Um, interaction cooldown, allowed class, that can be set to which class you want to interact with it. Um, then you've got all these advanced settings just here. So auto save state means that if you switch it on in the game, uh, and you leave that game basically what it's going to do is the next game you go into it's going to be on it's not going to like switch back to off it's going to stay on every time you join a new game depending on this one uh, so let's go to auto load state so you probably want that on game start so that if you switch it on in one game the next game on game start it's going to remember that you switched it on in the last game so then it's going to switch itself back on um star state per player so basically what that means is if you switch it on in your previous game you go into your next game and it's still on it might not be on for other players if another player hasn't actually switched this device on in their game in if they join your game it's going to be off for that player if this is uh, on yes so yeah a little bit weird i hope you guys are you know keeping up with this i will put a full a uh, detailed explanation of how to use this device down in the comment section so make sure to go and click that and read through it if you want to actually learn about this device so anyway let's move to resolve conflicts now this can look very difficult when you're first reading through this basically what this means is if the majority of players has this device switched on then the entire game is going to have the device switched on if pr prioritize on that means basically it's going to prioritize the most played player in the game. So let's say you have 100 hours in one map and you have this device turned on. You go into a game where players have only played for an hour. It's basically going to prioritize your loading. Uh, like It's going to prioritize you having it on over everyone else. It's going to be on just because you've got it on. Um, so yeah, a little bit um difficult to understand but yeah basically you're going to probably want the first player to um that's what it's going to do is going to load the first player that started the game um and it's going to be their settings throughout the game this is completely up to you guys this obviously depends on your type of game mode what you have um but yeah this device is mainly for open world maps so if you've got an open world map or uh, maybe you've just got a really advanced map and you want to add something like this in. Anyway, let's go through the channel settings. So you've got enable and disabled, turn on when receiving from, load state when receiving from. So basically what this is going to do is let's say you join the game 
and the spawn pad that you spawn on will trigger this device and load what settings you had previously so if you add it on previously you join a new game and that spawn pad like recognizes that it's you then it's going to turn it on um save state that's probably that means it's going to save um what state it is in so you turn it on it's going to save it check state that just means that it's going to check itself um then you've got the clear uh, clear player persistent data and clear all persistent data so i'm not 100 percent on this but i believe this means that uh, if you trigger it on and then later on in the game you unlock something else that has nothing to like that uh, basically changes this device you can have it so that it clears this device and then obviously the new device takes over that one so maybe you have a job and the job gives you 10 gold per minute maybe later on you get a new job and that gives you 20 gold per minute so they're going to basically remove the previous job and give you the new one that's kind of an easier explanation on this one i hope uh, when turned on that's you know your usual stuff there when state changes that's basically just when it changes to on and off uh, if on when check transmit on so these two are the main two settings you're going to want on so if on when checked that means that if you're in the previous game and you've unlocked a new level in the next game that level is going to be closed so if you join that new game and your previous level had the switch on basically if the new game recognizes that you had the switch on then it's going to unlock that level for you so you don't have to redo all the levels again let's say you're playing a death run and you've unlocked level 20 then it's going to automatically unlock level 20 for you whereas everybody else is going to have to continue from level one um so yeah that is how that works on state save transmit on so let's say you save the device um basically you might want something else to be triggered on that so yeah i'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to use this guys and then you guys can go from there so here we have three examples of how this device works so we've got um if you buy a vehicle in an open world map this vehicle is not going to spawn on the next game so maybe you want them um, to keep that game throughout every single experience well this is how to um, have it save then you've got the level so maybe this is level 10 and you've unlocked it and the next game you want to go into you want level 10 to be opened and that's going to open that and then you've also got the currency giving you money every 10 minutes or whatever you want on that so let's start the game and show you guys how these devices work so we're going to switch them all on so let's head over to the helicopter so this is going to spawn the helicopter as you can see there this is going to open the door and this one is going to activate the device to give me 10 gold every three seconds as you can see i now i'm now getting 10 gold and it's going to continue to get 10 gold the one thing i would mention with this device is to have the auto save device it saves people's inventories because obviously in this game it's not going to save because I don't have that. But that's what I would connect with that device just to save people's gold. But now all these devices are on. Let's end the game and restart it and I will show you what happens when we join a new game. So let's play again. As you can see when you exit the game everything goes off. But now it's going to recognize that I've had all these switches on and it's going to turn them all back on. Uh, as you can see this one's a bit weird so you will have to obviously turn it back on and off if the player has uh unlocked this they'll be able to do that anyway uh but they, they would have to purchase this first um but as you can see i am currently getting gold because of that's how i've got it set up and let's end the game again and i will show you guys again how it works so there we go play again if this video did help you in any way guys make sure to hit that like button and subscribe because i do these tutorials all the time on all the new devices and click the bell so you can notify the one you upload in the future so there you go so now we are back in game guys i'm going to show you guys how to connect all these devices up and what settings you're going to want to make this work i hope i haven't rambled on too much guys i'm just trying to explain as much as i can on how to use this device it is quite an advanced device and uh 
yeah, there's a lot to it. So let's start with the helicopter. So the de the switch device, you're going to want these settings here. Uh, the device model is up to you. Auto save state, yes. Auto load state, game start. When turned on, transmit on channel 5. And if on, when checked, transmit on channel 7. Obviously, these channels can be whatever you want, as long as they're connected to the same channels on the helicopter. So let's go over here. You want enable during phase none. Respawn on 5, destroy on 6, enable on 5 and disable on 6. So that's when you turn off the device, you can respawn the helicopter just in case you leave it at the other side of the map and you want to respawn it back to where it were. Uh, those are the settings for that. Then you have this the dev device for opening certain levels in a map. Pretty much similar settings, however you just wanted to change turned on to tran transmit on channel 1. And if on, transmit on channel 1, so that if it's on in the game, you're going to want it to blow up the door. And then you're going to want an explosive device on indestructible, blast radiuses, whatever you want, player damage, whatever you want, structure damage. As long as it's enough damage to destroy the structure that it's at, then you're going to want that at that. Uh, damage and destructible buildings, that depends on the blast radius. If you don't want it to destroy everything, then you're going to want that on no. Visible during games off and then explode on channel 1 so that when you trigger this device it's going to explode. Alright so then you've got the final one which is the currency. So almost similar settings but this one you want auto save state yes, auto load state game start. When turned on transmit on channel 2, when turned off transmit on channel 4. Then if on when checked transmit on channel 2. Basically the reason why you want uh, if on and turned off is because maybe at some point you're going to want the player to not have this job anymore. So you're going to want the device to be turned back off. But yeah, now you're going to want a timed objective. So timed objective can be basically this timer is going to be however long you want the gold to be given. So every minute you might want them to get 20 gold. Every two minutes you might want them to get... 50 gold, whatever, that's completely up to you. Uh, countdown visible on hub, no. Uh, completion behavior, restart. Urgency mode dis disabled. Start when receiving from channel 2. Stop on channel 4. And when completed on channel 3. The reason why you want it to stop on channel 4 is because when you turn this device off, you're going to want it to stop giving them gold. And then you're going to want an item granter receiving players all. Uh, you might want that on the team that the player is on or the class that the player is on just because you don't want all the players to get the same amount of gold on grant action keep all uh, give extra ammo off and grant item when receiving from channel 3 and that is all the settings for all these devices i hope this video helped you make sure to hit that like button if it did subscribe for more click the bell to get notified when it upload in the future i will put an in-depth explanation of this device down in the comment section so make sure to check that out anyway guys i'll see you all in the next one